Morning, friends. Tuesday, May 5th. Hope and pray that you are doing very, very, very well on this Tuesday morning. It's cloudy. It's rainy. It's drizzly. It's it's chilly. It's it's mm, not not just not so great. I uh, told you yesterday uh, we got off on our reading plan, um, and I apologize about that. Um, and I intentionally didn't do any work yesterday. Uh, but I will I will get the the reading plan to you uh, this morning uh, an updated one one that that continues our path through the the Gospel of Luke. But I I wanna when when things don't go well when things don't go the way that we planned um, when expectations seem to you know need to shift um, what do we do how do we adjust how do we prepare. And, you know, we have had a whole lot of expectations. Summer vacations have those expectations. They might be a little bit different. Um, all of the stuff that happens in May in this community. A little bit of a detour. Uh, you know, the graduation recognitions, the um, uh, the, the prom, uh, the, the end of school, the, the spring sports, all that stuff. It, it's all been... Uh, uh, quite a bit of of adjustment uh, that's uh, that's had to happen uh, in your life, in my life too. Uh, how do we deal with how do we deal with changes um, when when we're expecting to end up here and we end up over here? What what do we do? And I wanted to think you know quickly again uh, the story of Mary and Martha, where Jesus encourages them to choose the better part. Um, and the better part, particularly in that text from from uh, Luke chapter ten, is recentering, reorienting, um, refocusing on Jesus. So, I want to again remind you, encourage you, beg you, plead with you to set your mind on. Jesus to refocus to repurpose to to recenter. That's why, in some sense, uh, that's why I've asked you at three fifty three in the afternoon to set an alarm, so that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you might recenter. If just for thirty seconds to recenter, to refocus, um, to reorient your life again. My son and I, he started a lawn mowing business. And we know a guy who repurposes lawnmowers, uh, repairs them. And he, uh, uh, Ben, bought a lawnmower from, from a guy yesterday. And as we were walking away from the, the gentleman's home, I guess just an in-home kind of thing that he does in his garage, um, my alarm went off. And, and so Ben and I, we stopped for just a second when we got back in the car. And you know what we did? We, we, we prayed for... Um, entrepreneurs, because <laughs> Ben's being a little bit of an entrepreneur. We prayed for kindness because the 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 gentleman that was doing this, uh, he cut Ben a little bit of a deal. Um, and we thank God for business owners and business folks who are showing all kinds of generosity, all, all kinds of uh, of uh, of help uh, to folks. Uh, we thanked God for the gift of nature. And for the gift of spring and renewal, and for all of the plants that are growing, and for grass that he can cut. <laughs> um, I mean, it was it was you know maybe a little bit of a silly prayer, and at the same time, it was a pretty good prayer because in that moment we reoriented, we thanked God for those things um, that had just happened, and so I want you to again when things aren't going quite right, they got to take a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a redirection. How can we set our mind on Jesus? And it's my hope and my prayer that you might, each day in the month of May, at 3.53 in the afternoon. <clears throat> Why 3.53? I'll tell you about that later. Um, 3.53 in the afternoon that you would stop for just a moment. Recenter. Refocus. Thank God for the opportunities in front of you. When life throws us a little bit of a detour... How do we get through today? We're going to refocus. We're going to recenter. We're going to set our mind on Jesus. We're going to choose the choose the better part. Friends, have a great, God-blessed, beautiful, 
thankful, grace-filled, joy-filled, blessed Tuesday. Cinco de Mayo. Be well. It's Taco Tuesday on a Cinco de Mayo. Woo! The celebration can continue. Be well, friends. Have a great day.